Hello guys and welcome to City Skylines. Uh, my name is Christopher Tarantola, I'm your humble host. And we are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Now, clearly at this point, um, this is a very different Jackson Hole than the one that is in real life. Um, uh, the one in real life doesn't have a building, it's probably bigger than that. And clearly we have kind of exceeded that at this point. Um, even if I'm wrong and it's more like that size of a building, it's still well exceeded um, here. So, and, and able to like have like one of those buildings. Um, from my memory, I've, I, I was there maybe three or four years ago. So, uh, I'm going by a, a pale memory. But uh, I have my downtown kind of started to set up. And um, we're going to launch this sucker. So I'm pressing play now and see how it develops. Um, I will go ahead and just let y'all kind of watch it develop for a little bit before I go in and do some more um, micro detail. So I'll see y'all on the other side of the music. Just kidding. Okay, so, um, come on, escape, escape. Oh, there we go. Had a glitch here. Okay, so first of all, we definitely need some power. So let's uh, let's work on that. Let's work on getting it power, and we'll maybe try and bring it in from over here. Yeah, so that'll be that. Um, these hopefully will start to bridge pretty soon here. But uh, just to be a little bit easier, we'll just throw that in right there. And uh, the other thing that we need to do is... I'll let that play. The other thing we need to do... Come on, power. Let's make sure we have enough power. Um, we're probably going to need to stick a couple, or at least one more power plant over here. So let's go ahead and do that. How's our water going to look? I think our water is looking okay. And garbage capacity. So that might need some work because we're starting to get far enough away from our nearest garbage areas that it's just not going to work very efficiently. So we might stick another couple of these uh, Ecos. Eco... Uh, trash to power plants over here um, kind of put it along the airport which is good but na naturally need good access um, but then it, but at the same time you don't need to have anything nice so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put just a couple here Yeah, that that's good, and then hopefully that um, that really extends it out to cover this section of the city. So now we have like three areas that we're working from. You know, uh, this over here and this over here. You're, the, the, they're really having to travel a long way, but it's not that much to cover. So um, hopefully that uh, will be fine, and, and so far it has been so. Yeah, that building is much taller than you give it credit for. It's just an old, old school style. That's like Empire State Building style. Um, and these are some really tall buildings. I really like them, especially this one. That is definitely at this point my favorite building uh, in the game. To be clear, not necessarily in real life. So, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. I, I am paused the game to go and do something. Uh oh. Oh, it's just that. Okay. And I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just watch it for a while until I remember. <laughs> so. couple buildings here that really want land value to be better than it is and so let's take a look at that real quick oh I remember what it, what the other thing was too now 
Well, let's look at the land value first. Okay, so it's pretty high over here, and it's it's honestly it's not too bad over here, but um, looks like we got a lot of traffic coming in from over he here. That looks kind of cool, but um, you know, one of the things we wanted to do is we want to manage uh, these intersections here so that traffic is going to run smoothly. So. Like with this intersection here, the way it's going to work is you're only going to be able to turn like that. Now, that being said, I think you can still go straight. I don't have a problem with that, but this can only go straight. There's going to be no left turns at these intersections. You just can't allow them. No left turns, and if you're going to do a left turn, you're going to have to like go around the block or something. And so we're going to do that for all of these. And I'm just going to do these for good measure. That's a main intersection, so I'm going to leave it be. But then this one is back to a minor, and so we're going to go back and, and do that number. That guy just kind of cut across. Did you see that? Like, I had made it go straight, and he's like, no, I want to go. <laughs> so he, he, he wasn't going to take my, my the, the traffic laws into account. He was like, screw that, I'm doing what I want. Which, hey, you know what? On some level, that's realistic. That's how it really works in real life. So I'll, I'll, I, I find it funny, if anything. No megalomaniac complex over here. Okay, and then that's good. And then, yeah, so this is something we need to rework. I thought I had done it, but oh, I, I remember I had changed it. So that's just going to go there, and that'll go there, and that'll go there. This will go here, and this one will go here. This intersection would truly be, yeah, that's perfect. And then that needs to go like that. We don't want anybody to stop for nothing. And then I'm going to go ahead and manage this a little bit because it looks a little funky to me and I don't like it. Um, so we're going to just straighten that up just a wee bit. And we can... see why we don't just straighten it out completely. There we go. I think that just looks better. We need to maybe straighten this one out a little bit. So things are off. Now we do have a lot of traffic here. Um, what do we think is going on with that? I almost need to up these to maybe be three wide. I can do that though. I have that capability. So Kind of interesting.
interesting how it goes up to there. So let's let's make sure we do that right. So I don't want the that yeah, looks better. Okay, and so we're gonna re redo it. Right. So this can go here, and then these guys can go there, and that guy can go there. That guy can go there, and that guy can go there, and that guy goes there. Yeah. That, I think, will work better. You know, because part of the problem is, um, you know, when you have a, two, a lane merging, it just is not going to work as efficiency, efficiently, sorry, especially when you have a lot of cars coming from one of these uh, merging lanes in which we, we do right here. We, we just do, we just do. So, that's just something we need to be aware of. Um, and maybe try and make that go straight if possible. It's probably gonna be pretty difficult to do. Let's see. Let's see if this is actually straight and I just uh, switch in because, yeah, there we go. So now that's considered straight. That's better. And same thing over here. Yeah, now that's considered straight. I like that. All right. Straight, 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 straight. All right, everybody's straight. Okay, cool. Um, let's see how that works. Oh, we need to manage this. That's horrible. What the heck, man? And that's how that needs to go. We'll manage this as well. See, that management right there just cleared things up, I think, quite a bit, didn't it? All right, so now we have our Diverging Diamond has been uh, upgraded quite a bit. I actually, I would say it's actually, um, I normally don't have a Diverging Diamond with three lanes like that, but it seems to be working well. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention in a second once I'm done managing these on-off ramps here. So let's take a look. Let's just see how and it's, it's still backed up. Why is it backing up? What's the holdup? Is it over here? It very well could be. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, so we got some crossing over here that's it's really causing an issue um, and I wonder what we can do about that so when you have these big intersections that's one of the things you know a lot of people they'll put a roundabout right here which wouldn't be a horrible idea but um, let's see if we can't work within the intersection architecture to to make this work a little bit better so we could uh, continue to eliminate left turns, though since we've already eliminated them, that would push people to come out here and then kind of do, uh, go around. Um, we could, uh, to try and help some things, eliminate the crosswalk right there. I think, I think we'll actually do that. So if you're gonna crosswalk, you're gonna have to crosswalk over here, not over there. Um, and if it really gets bad, what we'll have to do is we'll start having to do pedestrian bridges, which I do have the capability of doing. Let's see what else.
So that seems to have helped quite a bit, just eliminating the pedestrians going on that crosswalk and forcing them over here. Though not, a lot of people are not now crossing over here. I'm not sure why. Yeah, talk about busy, baby. This is now super busy the intersection here. Um, even with the diverging diamond, it's, it's causing issue because there's this um, turmoil going on over here. I think this might be a case where actually more lanes is not more. Um, so what we might do is we might downgrade this to two lanes um, each way, that is. Um, so we'll see about in this number. Oh, I didn't necessarily want that to be a bridge, though. Um, there we go. And I'll have to fix that, unfortunately. And I'm going to have to fix that as well. So, well, I don't know. I can't control Z that. I don't think I actually wanted to do that. I think that one was fine. So, that one was this one, or was it just a plain one? It's just like this one, huh? Just like that. Only it wasn't the one way. There we go. Alright, so. Let's see here. So how's this going to work? redo it once again so this is the tedious part of playing this game guys and um, you know honestly for somebody like me uh, I I don't mind some people that's that they, they don't like this and to be honest if you're gonna have really great a, a, like a really great city you, you kind of you've got to do it there's just no shortcut around it um, the micromanagement makes a huge difference. So, um, have that go either way. And then, that'll go there, but then now I'm left with the lane that what I do with, I guess it, it'll combine. Really, I don't need that extra lane there. That extra lane is killing me. But what am I going to do with it? So I'm going to—I'm just going to kill it right there by merging those two that way. That's just what I'm going to do. And uh, let's see if that will improve things at all. Or make it worse. Oh, um, I need to fix my... My bridging there, my pedestrian bicycle bridge. Now, I don't remember if I pulled it this way or if I was pulling it that way. So let's just see. So a quick test. Yeah, okay, that that's the right way. Oh wow. Okay. No, it is the wrong way. Okay. So we're going to have to pull it from over here. It's this one. There we go. So we'll pull it from over here. There we go. <laughs> I like how everybody just moves over. I don't like how that grass kind of sticks up through the, the bottom of it, but what you're going to do, I, I I don't know what to do about that, except maybe retexture it, but then it looks all funky when you do so, so I'm not going to do that. So, let's just, uh, let's just see how this traffic works. Clearly got a little bit of traffic build up from people trying to get over. That's always annoying. 
Um, and there's there is one way I, I have to try and, and, and curtail that um, and I'll show you that a little bit later I think my park over here must have just upgraded yeah the Lake Meadows park over here just upgraded let's see if we can't just get this you know because you're having some uh, crossover within within this area here and this is all just backed up because you have an, another crossover here but it seems like it's starting to clear out actually so we'll see soon enough you know what we might have to do is create some sort of way for people to be able to go straight over. Um, what I mean by that is, um, you know, instead of people coming through the diverging diamond to go straight, because there is a lot of that, um, a lot of going straight and wanting to turn right here, um, we might have to try and separate out the on-off ramps from the go straight parts of it. Um, you know, so one way to do that is to, like, make an off-ramp here, and then an on-ramp there, and then, uh, do the same on this side somehow. Um, you know, we could do something like what I've done here, where you have the on and off-ramp separate, uh, for one direction separate from, uh, the other direction. And so it kind of separates out based on this intersection instead of having it all come to the, have put high pressure on those two intersections, I've separated it out, and now it's a lot smoother transition uh, in and out over here, um, going uh, off from that direction and onto that direction, and now off and on is separated. Where here, it's all in one place, and it's just really creating a lot of pressure, and I can't imagine, I mean, look at this, look at this terminal here, look at this traffic, oh, I created a traffic nightmare, um, it's backing up all the way to outside of my city, um, I wonder if this is going to die down once, um, a lot of people have moved into the city, you know, that, uh, I would not be surprised, but, you know what I'm going to try is, we already have, we have that one, but I wonder if we maybe do like another one that kind of comes here, and um, one that comes here. Let's try that. Let's let's add some more connection to our freeway. And try and just make it to where not so many people have to go on this off ramp, on ramp system here. Um, so. Uh, I, I love it when I oh that was that was a mistake. I love it when I create traffic issues that I, I I have to solve. It just I don't know. There's something about having getting to solve that problem that I like. Oh, something went janky. Something went janky. We're, we're saving. Yeah, not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so well manage our cells here and make that curve a little bit less and then uh, not hold down windows but hold down alt that's not quite working the way I'd want it to Yeah, so that'll create, you know, a nice little round there, and if people want to go out the other ways too, they can. Um, we might need to take this road and separate it out a little bit. Let's move it down a little bit.
we'll leave that alone. Okay, and then we'll have like an off ramp over here. We are actually starting to get some uh, traffic here. Part of that is that funkiness there, so I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll just have it go right there. Like that. And uh, that works surprisingly well. You know, works surprisingly well. Yeah, now I need to fix this. So, a way to one way to fix that is just to manage the intersection here. Um, there's a considered an intersection there, and we just need to change it to that, and that ought to fix that. So people go straight through and there's no crosswalk because there's no need to crosswalk there when you can crosswalk there. Right? Oh, we need to manage our stoplight here. Ugh. More stoplights. Oi. Oi and oi. Okay. So manage those stoplights there. Yep, we want to manage that one. There we go. Any other ones? I think that should be it. Oh, no. All up and down this thing. But, I think that actually has put some pressure off of it. Not all. We need to do this side as well. And so, you know, I have the on-off going here, but it's going in the wrong direction, really. And this is almost too far for people to travel for it to make sense. But you know what? I, I don't really have a problem going from that direction anymore. It's, it's still mostly from this direction. And uh, there's a lot of postal, post office stuff, so I need to maybe work on that. I have, I always forget about the post office, quite frankly, because it's, it's such a late addition to the game. But, yeah, we can put a post office in here somewhere. Where are you going to put it? Where shall we put it? Um, we'll put it, like, right here. Yeah, that's still just a traffic nightmare. And on some level, you have such a, a densely packed area, you're only going to be able to manage it so well. Alright guys, well, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to have to work on this on the next episode, I guess. So, I will talk to you all later. Bye.